It's, a, it's an honor to be here today. Um, you know, as, as we come and we, we, these ceremonies have become more frequent as we start having people who've been here so long and been, have mean so much to our community and so much to our city. Um, it's, it's some sadness, but also some, a lot of excitement that um, Chief Gaines and also the many of you who, who serve this city so graciously and nobly that you get to enjoy your family who has loaned, uh, loaned you to us for so many years. Chief Gaines, would you mind introducing the members of your family who are here? That's my mother seated there, Irene Francis, Elizabeth Smith, Puckett. Kind of reads like a law firm, but that's her name. <laughs> it's my wife, Cynthia, my daughter, Kimberly, my brother-in-law, Reggie, my sister, Belinda, and my baby girl, Lauren. The mayor mentioned we really do want to begin by thanking you for uh, sharing uh, Chief Gaines with us uh, these many years. Uh, you've uh, been part of our family. I know he's looking forward to spending time with you, but uh, we always like to uh, recognize your contributions that led to this day as well. So I'm going to give you a quick history lesson. 1980, uh, Mount St. Helens erupted. Ronald Reagan was elected president. Uh, there was the Miracle on Ice. Remember that, USA? Uh, Pac-Man was released, and ABBA was a very popular band at the time. <laughs> so, 1980 was also the year Chief Gaines came to work for the city. Um, so his 35 years of service uh, have been in incredible. Uh, the city was 35,000 people at that point in time, so we've certainly grown uh, a great deal, and uh, we really uh, thank him for, for all of that. So uh, Chief Gaines did start his career in, in 1980 as a firefighter. He was promoted to driver in 1986, inspector in 1988, captain in 2000, shift commander in 2002. Chief, you were running on about promotions every two years, it looks like. <laughs> He was named deputy chief in 2007, and he uh, assumed the chief's position in 2008. Uh, chief Gaines uh, is certainly to be recognized as a trailblazer, as the first African-American to serve in numerous leadership positions. Chief Gaines was the first African-American inspector, shift commander, deputy chief, and chief, and I think that deserves a round of applause. Uh, the accomplishments uh, during uh, this time are certainly numerous. Uh, new fire stations, technical rescue in the uh, department, including water, confined space, and rope rescue. Uh, the department was renamed in July of 2011 to more fully recognize all of the services that were provided. So it went from the Murfreesboro Fire Department to the Murfreesboro Fire and Rescue Department. Um, they um, created a child safety seat program where uh, residents can come to the fire stations and have uh, their child safety seat check to make sure it's done correctly. Uh, they've got a special events team, uh, and our honor guard is certainly uh, to be commended as well. Uh, they've been national champs, and that certainly is a great distinction and honor for our city. Um, but you know, maybe one of the things that may be most important is the, the progression uh, toward um, basic life support services. This helps our residents every day. And that was something that the firefighters uh, saw. Uh, Chief Gaines clearly supported, and the council was quick uh, to get behind that and expand our services. Uh, you know, when Chief, I've talked to Chief Gaines uh, since he has announced his retirement. He is the last person to take credit. Uh, I'm sure uh, some of this is a little bit embarrassing for Chief Gaines uh, because he is a humble person. Uh, he is always the first one to point out uh, the men and women of Murfreesboro Fire and Rescue and the city council for their support in uh, helping the city uh, get better and better. Uh, Chief Gaines has served us well, and I know he's looking forward to uh, time with his family. So, Chief Gaines, we want to thank you for your service, and I think uh, Mayor McFarland has a few things for you as well. When I saw this come across and, and knew had the opportunity to come up and honor you today, I think if anyone knows Chief Gaines, one of the things that we would describe him is saying that he's a very humble person. In all the years that he's come to council, it's always the team first and Chief Gaines is not one to take personal recognition, but today is your day. We have a proclamation for you. Whereas Chief Cumby Gaines was born and raised in Murfreesboro, Tennessee and attended Oakland High School, and whereas Chief Gaines began his employment with the city of Murfreesboro in 1980 as a firefighter, he was promoted to captain in 2000, shift commander in 2002, deputy chief in 2007, and to his current position, fire chief in 2008. 
And whereas Chief Gaines was honored by the NAACP in 2009 for becoming Murfreesboro's first African-American fire chief, and in 2011 received the Faith Award for his accomplishment as the first African-American inspector, shift commander, deputy chief, and chief of, chief of the Murfreesboro Fire and Rescue Department, and has been commended numerous times throughout his career. And whereas we join in celebrating his dedicated service in retirement, effective August the 12th, 2015, now, therefore, I, Shane McFarland, Mayor of the City of Murfreesboro, Tennessee, and on behalf of the entire City Council, and in recognition, recognition of his distinguished service to the community, community, the City of Murfreesboro, do hereby declare August 6, 2015, is a day to honor Chief Cumbie Gaines, and urge all of the community to join as we extend our congratulations and wish him well in his future endeavors. Chief Cumbie Gaines. Thank you, and I'll be brief. To all in attendance today, I thank you for your presence and helping me celebrate this day. I know it's not the best weather, so you could have been anywhere, you could have been dry, but I appreciate you thinking of me and coming and helping me celebrate as I transition out. I was asked a question, and I don't see an attendance, by Miss Nail, and she asked me, she's asked me this question for the past three or four days, and she's asked me, well, Chief, what are you going to say? What are you going to say after 35 years? And I contemplated that. And the only answer that, that I could come up with is to say thank you. That is my answer to what do you say after a 35-year career. Thank you. I want to say thank you for allowing me to serve the citizens of Murfreesboro in several job capacities. I thank the current and the former city council members and city administrators for your support and guidance, as well as the other department heads, for accepting me, supporting me, and guiding me, and helping me in this journey. I would like to thank my family for understanding and tolerating. That's you, baby girl. She used to get so upset at all the holidays that I missed. For tolerating my absences and for understanding over the years that I wasn't going to be there. That's my day to work. Administrative staff, support staff, thank you for the hard work that you've done over the years. Couldn't have done it without you. I'd like to thank the beacons that were in my life. Those are the people that lit the path, they marked the path along my journey. Some of them have passed on, and I guess to some extent, I proved Mr. Robert T. 90 Scales right. When he told me, he said, you're tougher than that, little Gaines. And that was in reference to when I came to him to tell him that I was going to quit this job after building collapse in a building fire. And he said, don't quit. You're tougher than that. Your whole family's tougher than that. So I guess I proved him right to some extent. And lastly, by design, to the men and women, the backbone, the gear that drives the wheel, the men and women of the other of fire and rescue out in the trenches. And I left you last by design. This is in tribute to you. I want to thank you for the dedication and the drive that you have to be among the best at what you do as you put yourselves in harm's way on a daily basis. May God watch over you and protect you as you in turn go out and protect the citizens of Murfreesboro. My pastor Vincent Windrow stresses the importance of recognizing blessings. And I don't see him in attendance, but pastor, I do recognize this as a blessing. And for that, I am grateful. Thank you. talk about blessings there's a scripture in John that I would say best describes your service and its greater love hath no man than this that he would lay down his life for his friends 
And I think that's something that we would say for every firefighter that we have here today. So we have a plaque for you presented to Chief Cumbie Gaines in appreciation for your 35 years of service to the city of Murfreesboro, 1980 to 2015. When we talk about national championships, I think there's one last special group that wants to come and uh, present something to you. We just like to say thanks for all your support, all, everything you did for us. And we got a pack, plaque presented to Cumbie Gaines, lifetime honorary member, the MFRD Honor Guard. 